All right, folks, welcome back. Tonight we're kicking off something special for you. Yes, a new segment. It's called Battleground PA. As we get closer and closer to the election, we will, on Thursdays, give you a closer look at something interesting out there, the political stories that will really impact you the most. Like, how about the controversial mail-in ballot issue? Today, the Commonwealth Court hearing a case on what should really be done with those ballots that have some mistakes. CBS 21's Chu Yi Lin was there. Mail-in ballots require a handwritten date on the envelope. However, the Council for State of Secretary points out making sure if the dates are valid is an unnecessary burden. And ACLU says if there is already a postmark on the envelope, the handwritten date is not essential. Nobody uses it for anything other than to disenfranchise. So if you think about some of the other uh, seemingly minor requirements, any one of them you can tie to some ele election administration purpose. This one is unique. There's a reason that we sued over this requirement and not all the other ones. They argue if anyone makes an honest mistake, say writing September 31st, the ballot will be dismissed. ACLU tells me in 2022, where the election season was at a smaller scale, there were more than 10,000 votes thrown out because of this. In a larger election, the date will really make a big impact. However, the opposing councils disagree. One attorney also says that ACLU only named two counties, Allegheny and Philadelphia. But this issue is too important to be decided based on the participation of only two counties and a secretary of the Commonwealth who actually is opposing the enforcement of a law that the secretary is required to enforce, which itself is a bizarre procedural state of affairs. The hearing went over time as the judges were very engaged and asked a lot of questions. ACLU's counsel said this might be a good sign. Uh, we filed this case just a few weeks ago and we're already up in front of the court. Uh, hopefully the full court is similarly motivated to get this decided as quickly as possible. I'm Shui Lin, CBS 21 News.